All right, you guys, today we check out how to make some mockups using Adobe Firefly and also Illustrator and Photoshop. This is going to be amazing for your clients to present your brand identity on unique mockups as a demo so they can decide whether or not to invest into product photography. All right, so I'm going to make a perfume bottle how I did in the example before. So let's click on the stroke, click on the non, click on the fill. So it's going to be on the top. I'm going to go and select a color, orange. And from here, I got to go and select the rounded rectangle. I'm going to create a rectangle like this. From here, I got to make another one. This is going to be the body of the perfume bottle, the glass. I got to position it something like that. And I'm going to go with another color. Let's select both right click group. And I'm going to go and tilt it something like this. Great. From here, I'm going to go and select another color. I'm going to go with this blue, for example. I'm going to select the pen tool and I'm going to create some stone starting from here that goes over the perfume bottle. Doesn't need to be perfect. The main point is just to sketch it out so the AI knows exactly what to do. And there you go. Now I'm also going to make a copy of this. Press and hold Alt drag it here. I'm going to change up the color to some lighter blue. I right click on this, go to arrange, send to back, and I'm going to rotate it upside down. And I'm just going to position it somewhere here. Now, in order to view this composition even better, you can go to the view and click on trim view. And I'm going to create another copy, recolor it. I don't know. I'm just going to put another one. So anyways, this is how the final composition is going to look like. Let's save it as a JPEG. Now let's go to Adobe Firefly. Now before we do this, if you want to generate correct results in Adobe Firefly, I suggest you to check out the beginner's guide on Adobe Firefly, how to use this software correctly. So I'm going to leave a link in the description. So let's jump into this. I'm going to click on generate and I'm going to go and delete all the prompts. Click on clear, select all the prompts, delete. Now let's go up, make sure to select widescreen. I'm going to go with photo. And here we got the reference images where you can upload it. So I'm going to go upload and select the image. Click on open, continue, bring the strength up all the way to 100%. So now we got the composition reference here. Let's scroll down. I also going to select hyper realistic. Let's go to the lighting. I'm going to change it to studio lights. And now we're going to type into the prompts matte black perfume bottle on black stone material isolated on white background. Let's click on try prompt. And check this out. It worked from the very first try. I think this is perfect already, but let's see the rest of it. Also, this is pretty nice. So all you need to do is just keep on generating and find the perfect result. I think these are pretty sick. I don't like the bottle. This one also is pretty good, but this one so far is the best. Now, by the way, you also can use this image as a style reference. So all you need to do is go here to the edit and select use a style reference. And let's click on X. And as you can see here, we got the style reference included and let's click on generate. And as you can see here, all four compositions are similar, but the materials of the stones are different. So you can play around, experiment with these and see what best results you can get. And now, but least let's go into Photoshop and here we're going to create a mockup out of this. So let's select the type tool. I'm going to go and type in something, press control T, press and hold shift plus alt, scale it up. By the way, I went with the Nexa extra light. And from here, I'm going to position the font on the mockup. Press Ctrl T, rotate. I'm going to position it something like this. Double click release. Now let's go and double click on the text layer. And here at the blending options, you can pull this handle at the left. And as you can see, it is going to remove the text. Now, if you press and hold Alt and click on this handle, it's going to break the handle in two parts. So I'm going to bring the right handle on the right side and the left handle back to normal a little bit more somewhere here. So now it's going to make it look a little bit more realistic. I also going to try to do the same thing with the opposite direction, maybe break it something like this. Maybe there you go. Click OK. I also going to need to remove these elements here. So it's going to be under the rock. So I'm going to go to the mask and I'm going to go and select the brush. Make sure that you're on the black. And I'm going to increase the hardness and just remove these parts here. Perfect. And pretty much this is how you make mockups with Adobe Firefly, Illustrator and Photoshop. Thanks for watching.